Hello there, how are you going? It's Kensington 25 here, William Broom. I am back home in Sydney, a very quick visit, but look who I'm with. It's my party in crime, Saint Fletcher. How G'day, are you, Saint? How are you? It's a Saint here. How are you? Well, I'm great. I'm great, Fletcher. It's really lovely to be back in the city, but forget about me. What have you been up to? What have I been up to? Um, well, uh, that's a good question. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I've been doing um, a lot of my artwork mm -hmm. and um, I've been uh, going down to down the coast a fair bit and uh, yeah, lots of stuff with family and all that sort of stuff and uh, it's been a pretty good year. Um, the summer's been, you know, very wet. We've had a very wet summer, which I quite like really. Um, I don't like hot summers. Um, and um, it's a very pleasant day today, isn't it? We've got a wonderful backdrop. Can you tell us a bit about what that backdrop is, that fountain? That's the El Alamein fountain, um, dedicated to the World War I soldiers. Um, and um, it's a one, one victory, <laughs> I think. <laughs> Although we usually celebrate uh, defeats, we don't usually celebrate victories in Australia. <laughs> I don't know why that is, but uh, that's an Australian trait. But um, yeah, um, um, yeah. I, I mean, nothing has really changed here at all, and I'm, that's probably why I'm fasting for words here. I'm a bit like that. I don't always know what to say. The cross doesn't really change. You get a few new shops, but there's always so many characters here. You can never ever say that the cross is a boring place. There's always variety. It's always very vibrant. There's always something going on, sometimes good, sometimes not so good, but it's full of character. It's... that's one description for it, yes. <laughs> yes, we were just talking before about um, Mardi Gras and um, the incident with um, the uh, police uh, throwing that guy onto the ground. And there has been some conjecture, some prejudice, which you can't really do. You can't really judge things by a video. But what you do see is the guy slammed on the footpath. You can hear the sc his skull cracking on the footpath, and it really, it, it could be, it could, they don't know yet, but there could be some concussion there. He was already handcuffed, he was very light. That wasn't really necessary. Um, and I think that's the contention on its own. Um, so a lot of people are talking about that. Um, I had strong opinions on it before. Now I just um, think of that. Um, I wasn't there at Mardi I didn't feel like it this year. It's not my thing um, anymore. Um, <laughs> that's something that a former board member, isn't it? <laughs> I mean, it's really divided a lot of YouTubers, it's divided a lot of people, the incident. I was at the protest filming it, and I thought there'd be like 25 people there. I think there were quite a few hundred who turned up. Uh, it was quite an amazing turnout. Uh, I'm not, you know, I've taken a bit of a step back from it, but what I have done is I've tried to capture the different emotions regarding it, and getting people like your own view, and of course the viewer's view as well. And it almost eclipsed the actual Mardi Gras parade itself. And I would never have guessed that, but I guess it's got people talking. It's got people talking about quite an emotional issue. And we'll see where it goes. We'll see where the investigation goes. I know that the local member, member of parliament, is it Alex Greenwich? Yes. Uh, I know he's been talking to police. I think he's holding a meeting and he's invited people along. So that'll be, that'll be quite interesting to watch. Uh, do, do you think, though, we'll get to the truth of it? Do you think anything will be done? It's really hard to know um, at this stage. Um, yeah, th it, there are stresses of change. Um, uh, one of the uh, interesting things of Mardi Gras, uh, the ADF or the Defence Forces marched officially, which is um, really um, a victory for um, celebration in Australia. And there was one negative comment on one somebody's page. Um, one woman said, "You know, why is it that the um, um, the the, uh, the poor diggers that we sh who should we should be mourning should should be degraded going to Mardi Gras?" And it just hit me that 
we're always thinking of our soldiers as you know, already dead or something to mourn about. But, but we, you know, Australian soldiers are very much alive. Mm. They're people, and some of them are gay. It's, it's legal in Australia. And so that is worth celebrating. And um, they were quite happy to march. I mean, if you can march through um, parts of Iraq and yep. Afghanistan, you know, going through Mardi Gras is a, it's a piece of salt, you know, it's a, it's a piece of cake, you know. We often hear people say, let's not forget the dead, but also let's not forget the living. And people do march in parades. The army has been marching in all sorts of parades, whether it's local carnivals, whether it's Anzac Day, Australia Day. So really, Mardi Gras is another parade and it's, it's good to be out there. I don't think it's a case really necessarily of soldiers saying, hey, look at us, we're gay. Because you've got to remember... Most of them weren't. No, uh, uh, but the heterosexuals come out every day anyway. It's just another march that they took part in and, you know, good for them. Well, most of them weren't. And when the police, most of the police also marched in the parade, um, most of them aren't. And, mm. um, you know, when you've got, you know, formal box there, you've got to remember that most of them are not gay. It means that uh, they're quite happy to celebrate the yeah. uh, freedom and diversity that we have in Sydney. And everyone's uh, quite happy to, you know, accept that. And it brings um, various dimensions of uh, Sydney. Sydney is a quite a unique place in that way. Um, and I think this incident, everybody just brought, uh, it really brought a damper mm. on things. And I think that's the, the what, what everyone's going through is, you know, just what we think, you know, we've got it all together and somebody has to spoil it, you know? And, uh, uh, and of course, the other big issue, the federal election. I was in the area of Coogee today and I noticed people are already campaigning for it. Any, any thoughts on the federal election? Oh, God. It's a long way away, isn't it? I think it's a lot of water under the bridge, really. I can't make a prediction. It's too close to call. Anything else you want to add, Fletcher? It's great to see you, William. Um, and, um, you know, I, um, anyone in the university courses, you know, this guy's a genius. <laughs> and, um, you know, he's, uh, <laughs> he's just bought a whole stack of books he's studied. You know, you've got somebody who wants to, to write an award-winning book here. So, um, yeah, um, it's good to see you. And um, um, I hope the planes go on strike so you can't go home to England. Yeah. You know what? It's so good to see you again, St. Patch. I'm getting quite emotional talking to you. But it's so good to see you again. It really, really is. And it's wonderful to be back in Sydney. And I'll be honest with you, as much as I love England, I don't want to leave. Australia, Sydney feels like home. It's where I feel I belong. I love it here and I have come back home. Thanks very much. Thanks for watching and I'll talk to you soon from someplace, somewhere. Be good if you can. If you can't be good, be good at it. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.